Hey everybody, Dwayne Lazar, Triple Nickel Trapper. Figured I'd show you, I've been working down in the basement here trying to get all ready for trapping season. Organizing. Stuff hanging up. I got another half a dozen of those bags out in the shop yet. But here's something I built. That is going to help me with all the clutter down here. Ah, I'm really glad I did that. My uh, washing machine capped out. I got another one in the... Uh, semi but I'm gonna need help getting that in the house only work 25 days this year so it's gonna be really tough I hope I can get through the whole season money is gonna be at a premium so I uh, recorded some wildlife I'm doing a little nuisance trapping a little bit of scouting just a hodgepodge of everything I guess there's even garden in there just touching base with you guys. This time in a month, I should be putting dogs away, so. Wish me luck. Check out some of this stuff. Hey, everybody. I pulled up to my little brother's farm out here. Dean uh, Walitsky has got some problems with some raccoons. The old war wagon's still going strong. Yeah, he's got a nice little place out here. He doesn't live here yet. He's uh, still in the city, Regina, but he's moving out here in probably about a year, year and a half. He's got five game cameras set up, and he said, right in this area here, he's seeing raccoons every night on him. He said they really like the dog house, so I was out here the other day. Found a spot where they're getting in the house. He said they weren't, but they are. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But, right up in there, they got a hole through there, and they are climbing up that eaves trough. Because as uh, you raccoon trappers know, those little buggers can get in some small holes and climb like Tarzan so I got uh, what do I got I got two box traps and three pails and a couple of my uh, 330 boxes so I'm gonna set those seven up and I'll let you have a look at a couple of them time to get to work Okay, nothing too fancy. I took a walk around his shop there, and there is a little bit of tracks and poop, but it looks like they're going in that door right on this side, right where that upright is. So I put a 330 box there. I stuck mostly to the house, because like I said, that's where he's seeing them all the time. I've got the old uh, 220 pail there back porch here it looks like they're going into that split there and going under that porch too so and then I really hammered this dog houses because this like I said he's seeing them on these cameras at the dog house so pail there pail there Got a uh, live trap there, and right beside it, I got the 330 box. And then over here, everything looks so close because I got this thing zoomed, and I don't know how to get it out of zoom. So, and a box, and he's got a camera right in there, and that's the one he's picking them up on. So, yeah, I know I got a lot of traps all in one area here, but for first night we'll just see what happens because if there's little babies with their mama their little babies aren't going to go too far if mama gets caught so well it looks like we were in a hurry to get in this one two of them one two twenty huh I did expect a couple of them, but not both in one trap. They're young ones. 
I'll reset and away we go again. Food in there. And food in there. And we got a damn cat. I forgot to show you this one. I had a hit here last night too. The dish right out, but it's still full of food. Here's my special uh, coon bait. I reset the trap, but had a little stinky in here. He uh, cut me a break though. He didn't spray. He's a little smelly, but could have been a lot worse. Oh well, I'll remake this up and keep moving forward. Looks like another little stinky. He's trying to spray me. I'm gonna I'm sitting in the truck though. I think the wind's playing in my favor. But I don't like messing with those little buggers, so I'm just gonna hit them from here. And I'll leave it because he's definitely gonna spray. Look at him. He wants to get me. I've never been sprayed before and today isn't gonna be the day it happens, so kind of rainy and ugly out but yeah I'll take care of this and we'll get up and check the other ones not expecting much today I wasn't expecting this that's for sure second skunk I taken out of here already and five coons hmm. well it doesn't look like anything was there still lots of bait in there Oh, it just reeks of skunk out here now. Oh, shice. Nothing touching that. I slid this in here so the uh, dish didn't get right full. It's the doghouse there, by the way. So the dish didn't fill up with water. Put a board over that. It's still got bait. And I got one more back here. The one up at the shop is not touched. There's a nice big raccoon. Dead, dead. This is the one we caught the uh, skunk in. I went to the rider game yesterday, so. That is a big raccoon. Nice. Well, that's six coons and two skunk here now, so. He said there was a half a dozen here, but I'm pretty sure there's more than a half a dozen, so. Alright, I'll make this back up, and I think I will save him for Chris Defoe. He wanted a couple to make some mitts, so that's a nice big one. He can get mitts out of them. Alright, work, work. There's why I'm not a real big fan of raccoon trapping with boxes and stuff. He broke one of my trigger wires off. Oh well, as long as they don't see that and go straight in, they'll be, it'll work again. I'll get another one out here when I come back out tomorrow or whenever. They are hard on traps, those big brutes. I've had them just totally wreck a, uh, have a heart trap when they're in it overnight. Had a big, I don't know, 25, 30 pound coon in there. And he just laid on his back and beat the crap out of that poor trap. All right, any luck at all, we'll get one walking right through there again, too. Well, we're winding down the garden here. Some spuds over there. A couple rows of beans. The green beans are, I don't know what's wrong with them. They're just not growing. Every day, third day, I'm picking a pail off them yellow ones. Corn's getting ready to go. There's lots of ears on it. For some reason, there's no tomatoes on my tomato plants. They're healthy as hell flowers everything but oh well they'll come as long as you don't get hit with frost right away we'll be all right carrots are looking good we got potatoes back there another row 
Way at the back there, there's three big patches of cucumbers. They're looking good. Some pretty uh, nice cucumbers on them right now. Sure have beautiful soil here. Oh well, I'm hungry and feel like a can or two of loudmouth soup, so talk to you guys in a little bit. Every three days or so, I'm picking one of these right full of wax beans. I don't know what's wrong with my green beans this year. It's only like every uh, week and a half I'm getting a pail full off of them, but wax wax beans are kicking ass, so and I do love them, so. I'm gonna get some potatoes, I got some chicken, make some supper. And two hills of potatoes. No, I still got probably 35, 40 hills left out there, so supper is starting to take shape now. Oh, there we go, supper. All good to go. Got uh, some pineapple chicken, some cucumber and onion, bucket pickles basically. My yellow beans and my potatoes and now you see why I uh, put so much weight on in the summer and take it off in the winter when I keep forgetting to eat when I'm skinning. So, bon appetit. Oh, that's what I want to see. Knocking down their crops. I will be out in the fields in a couple of weeks baiting. I can hardly wait. I talked to the abattoir. They said all the bait I want. They want me to park a trailer out there and they'll just fill it and call me when it's full. And I will just keep hitting big baits. Looking forward to our super season this year. Hope you all come along. There we go. Beautiful little coyote -o. Getting all ready for trapping season. Yeah, he don't want to stick around. He must know me. Hey there, sweetie. I'll see you in a couple of months. Nice looking little dog. Yeah, he's not sticking around. Now he's eyeballing her. I really don't know if you can see that guy. The edge of the water there. I'm just coming back from getting groceries and beer and down and kind of keeping an eye out for wildlife. Somebody having a drink there. Look at the poor beaver got trenches dug in this mud here trying to get water deep enough that it's not going to be deep enough to last the winter for them. I never looked at the other side of the road, but they got little runs into the bank, so they're probably living under the road. Which is another reason why they're so hated out here, because in the spring that road will just fall right into itself. Oh well. That's why we got no beaver, we got no water, but the ones we do have are, are suffering. I might be have to come and get these ones before they have to go through the winter and this shit. Little doggy there too. He don't want to hang around. I think that is a turkey buzzard. Big bird. Sitting on some roadkill there. Checking out the fields. That ain't gonna be here much longer. Get out to the bush. Like to say hi to trap lines and in lines, Northern Trapper, Tim and Strapper, A Merle and Curly Beard, Gold Trapping, 
Oh, special thanks to B&O. Man, you helped me get over 1,500, and I uh, really appreciate your uh, your kind words on your your lives about my videos, and Judah Mang, Mang. Oh, there's so many people to thank. Uh, Archer, too, he gave me a, sent me a set of setters for my number five bridgers. I'm a little scared to try and use them right now, but uh, when I get home, I'm going to probably do a little quick clip of me setting one with them. Oh, who else? Hutch River Rat sending me a parcel. Uh, maybe we'll uh, do a different show about that, but yeah, so many guys to thank, and you know what? I'd like to thank you all, and don't think I'm not going to. I've got it all written down at home, but like I said, if I don't have it written down, I suck at shout outs. So just a couple shout outs there again, guys. Well, I'm driving down some of my roads here and they're kind of uh, gone. I am uh, just out checking out crops, seeing just how soon I can get out. So we're just kind of hoping we don't uh, fall off the edge of uh, the road here. I think we'll be all right. I got a good idea where the road is. I've only been on it a thousand times, so. But it's been raining lots too, so there, that's a better shot of the road. We got a better view there. There's another little one, pretty one, nice and light. Hi, you. Coyote Odeo. Oh. Nope, couldn't get him to hang around. Oh, well, there are lots of them. We're right in the heart of my trap line, too, so we are going to have a great year this year, everybody. I hope you, uh, like I say, come ride along with me. We're going to have a blast this year putting away lots of veggies this year. Here's a bunch of uh, beet greens. I love them. A little bit of uh, butter and garlic and cook them in a frying pan. Awesome stuff. Can't beat it. There is a lot here so I'm gonna have to uh, get to work. She's starting to go now. Those uh, wax with the wood shavings in the egg cartons work awesome if you guys never tried that out try it they uh they'll even get wet wood burning i've done it for many many years usually if i'm planing something i'll save those curlies they light up better and and seem to work better but any little wood chips and sh stuff like that works great so wood's a little wet but it's been raining like crazy here so it'll take a little bit Oh, well, that's it for another episode of Triple Nickel Trapper here, everybody. Rain, rain, rain. Maybe we'll get lots of snow to start the year and I can run my sled right off the hop. That would sure be, save me some money. Oh, well, rainy days and Mondays always get me down. You know what they say. You guys, stay dry. Keep moving forward.